Today, we're gonna talk to you about Molten Ranch and the homes that are in it, and who knows it better? We do. I'm Jim. And I'm Vicki, and we're, and we're with the, the Bishop, Bishop team. team. We've lived in Molten Ranch for about 10 years. We've been working Molten Ranch for over 21 years, and we're here to share today with you some very important information, and it's very detailed. If you wanna know what you can get in regards to a home and a floor plan when moving to Molten Ranch, sit down, strap in, put your seatbelt on, and we're gonna go through that with you because there's not just two or three floor plans, there are 20. So and lots of choices. We're gonna go through each one and we're gonna share them with you, tell you the uniqueness of each one, where you can find them, strap in, we're here for you. So call this six for six. There are six tracks in Molten Ranch. And oh. we're gonna talk about six different things in each track. We're gonna tell you the track name, the builder, the streets that that track is on, the number of floor plans within that tract, the number of homes, and about each home and each floor plan in it. So each segment, that's what we're gonna do. You'll see six different items within the six different tracks. So let's start it off. The first track. So Brock Estates was the first track to be built. And those homes uh, were built by Brock, hence the name. The streets are off of Nottingham. So you have Nottingham, uh, Bradford, Stratford, Harrington, Chelsea, half of Devonshire, we'll get into that later, Elmbank, Oak Hollow, and half of Falling Leaf. So there's about 113 homes in the Brock Estates. And within that, that's actually in two associations, Molten Ranch 1 and Molten Ranch 3. The first part going up and down Nottingham with the cul-de-sacs off of it, that's Molten Ranch 1, and they were the first homes that were built, and you can find larger lots in that area. And there's three floor plans in that track. First one is the Windermere, and that is just under, right around 3,200 square feet, features four bedrooms and three bathrooms. There is a main floor bedroom in that floor plan. And a way that you can tell if it's a Windermere is that the front door actually faces the side. So when you walk up to the home, the front door is not facing out to the street, it's to the side. That's kind of one defining point of knowing that it's a Windermere. Something very unique about the Windermere floor plan and what people really like about it, when you walk into the home, the staircase goes up and then it splits in two. So it's very dramatic staircase, very beautiful, very unique for the Windermere. Yeah. All right, what's the second floor plan in there? So the Buckingham is the second floor plan in the Brock Estates. It's about 3,323 square feet. It's five bedrooms plus a bonus room, three baths. We actually love this home. We lived in this home. It was our floor plan. Very, very user-friendly, um, an amazing house. Sweeping staircase, great for Christmas, stuff down the stairs, beautiful home. Uh, lots of people like that house. Yep. And the third one is the Southport. Now, this one came a couple different ways from the builder. It's about 3,370 square feet. You could get it as a four bedroom plus a bonus room five bedrooms plus a smaller bonus room or six bedrooms and it also has three bathrooms so that's fun because while looking for a south port they don't always look the same very unique so that's the first track next track let's talk about the brock classics these are the biggest floor plans in molten ranch at least on the high end there's four different floor plans built by Brock. So Jim, what streets are those homes found on? So it's the second half of Falling Leaf, also the cul-de-sacs of Magnolia and Goldenrod, Willow Tree and Rolling Hills, Wood Bluff, and then Green Hills and Rain Tree. In the Brock Classics, there's about 141 homes. It's the biggest track in Molten Ranch. Let's talk about the floor plans. So the first one is called the Amarini. Important to note, it is the only home in Molten Ranch with a main floor master. Makes it so unique. That is a very unique selling point of that floor plan. And there aren't very many of them. No, um, you might see one a year come on the market. It's about 3,205 square feet. It's usually four bedrooms, although a few of them were made with more of a bonus room mm -hmm. upstairs. It also has four bathrooms, which makes it super convenient to have a guest bathroom downstairs in addition to a fabulous master bath 
on that main floor. It's got a fantastic laundry room in that floor plan <laughs> as well too. You can close two different doors that go into the laundry room and just put that laundry away and not have to look at it. You don't walk through the garage uh, into the laundry room like you do in a lot of the homes. So that's really neat about that floor plan. What's the next floor plan, Jim? The Cella floor plan is about 3,245 square feet, features four bedrooms, and the Cella has four bathrooms, which is also very convenient with a powder room for guests. The next floor plan is the Belvedere. Now this is similar to the Windermere in that it has the side door entry. So when you walk up to the front of the house, the front door is not facing the street, it's facing the side. So what they did in this one is they added a little bit of square footage. It's about 3,500 square feet, four bedrooms, but now it has a bonus room or they call it a library at the top of the stairs. It has four bathrooms, um, which is a very nice feature as well. Yes, that extra bathroom makes a difference. The kitchen is a galley kitchen, galley style kitchen. Um, great, great floor plan. So the last floor plan in the uh, Brock Classics is the Cavetto. This is the biggest floor plan of all the floor plans in Molten Ranch. It's very similar to the Buckingham, but kind of put it on steroids. So it's uh, just under 3,900 square feet, features five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. Um, plus an office. Plus an office downstairs and a bonus room upstairs. It is in my opinion, the most amazing floor plan. And I've been doing real estate. I started showing homes with my mom when I was like five years old. So in my opinion, it's the most amazing floor plan I've ever seen. Very user friendly, downstairs bedroom and bathroom, another bathroom downstairs for guests, the office is downstairs and the bonus room upstairs. There's really nothing more you need. It's a beautiful floor plan. Um, no wasted space, very, very good use of space and it flows very nicely. Big grand staircase, tall ceilings. Um, great kitchen, flows into the family room, great for entertaining. It's a beauty, so we'd love to show it to you. So the next track is the Brock Collection. And guess who were the was the builder? Uh, I'm gonna say Brock. Yeah, so this is found on the other half of Devonshire. So Brock Collection on one side, Brock Estates on the other. Um, and then it goes into Moor Oaks, Patterson, Laurel Crest, Carlson Court, Fletcher, Woodbrook, Poinsettia, and Maple View. In the Brock Collection, there's about 106 homes. The first floor plan is named the Plan 1. This is 2775 square feet. It's four bedrooms and three bathrooms. Nice vaulted ceilings and everything else you'll find throughout Malton Ranch. So in the Brock Collection, Plan 2, again called Plan 2, is 2875 square feet. The unique thing about this is... There is no downstairs bedroom. It is the only floor plan in Molten Ranch that doesn't have a downstairs bedroom. So there aren't very many that don't, but it's the plan two. Yep. And again, so four bedrooms, three bathrooms. And then finally you have the plan three, and that is about 3,285 square feet. It came a couple of different ways. You could get four bedrooms with one down and a bonus room, or you could get five bedrooms with that bedroom, uh, that bonus room enclosed. It does have a four bathroom. So downstairs you do have a powder room or a guest room. Um, that's a great floor plan, by the way. And that closes out Brock Collection. Now we're on to track four and it's called? The Brayburn Track, also built by Brock. Brock. <laughs> Ironwood that turns into Middle Ridge. You and Middle Ridge only has like a handful of houses on yeah, it. You feel like you're on Ironwood. A lot of people don't even know that exists. Yep. Um, and then Eucalyptus, uh, Cedar Bluff, and Faircourt. And that rounds out the Brayburns. There's just about a little over 80 homes in this track. There are three floor plans. The first one is just under 3,000 square feet. The Amherst floor plan is uh, four bedrooms, three baths, and a bonus room um, upstairs. The next floor plan is the Bradford. And that's about 3,125 square feet, also features four bedrooms and three baths and a bonus room. And don't be confused, there is a Bradford floor plan. It is not on the street named Bradford. <laughs> Molten Ranch really tried to confuse you, so that's why we said to strap in, get your seatbelt on for this. And you may have to watch the video a few times. So the Bradford floor plan is not on the street named Bradford. <laughs> 
The biggest floor plan in the Braeburn is the Chelsea floor plan. And this is, um, it's kind of like a downsized Cavetto. And that uh, builder lists that at about 3,515 square feet. Another so, great house. Great floor plan. So it's four bedrooms plus that main floor office yes. and a bonus room, a big bonus room upstairs. Uh, it also has four bathrooms, so it has a guest bath and a uh, full bathroom downstairs for your main floor uh, bedroom. Which is fantastic. If you've got guests or you're making it into an office, you can just close that off and there's another bathroom for your guests to use. Yep. So that wraps up the Brayburn track. And that is absolutely one of my favorite floor plans. Yep. Chelsea's a great one. So now we're on track number five and it is called... The Heritage Track. Now, curveball here not built by Brock, Oh. built by Woodcrest. And only on two different streets. Annandale. And Barkstown. Yep. Curve. Just over 50 homes, not a lot. 52 homes. <laughs> so the smallest floor plan in the heritage track is the Hillcrest, is 2,229 square feet, four bedrooms, three bathrooms. So that middle floor plan here in the heritage track is called the Hill View. Um, just over 2,500 square feet, four bedrooms, three bathrooms, a bonus room, and then the largest floor plan in the Heritage Track is called the Grand View. Just under 2,700 square feet, four bedrooms, a bonus room, and three bathrooms. And something to note, although these are the smallest square footage, every house in Molten Ranch has a three-car garage. Including the Heritage on Barkstone and An Annandale. Coming to the finish line on the sixth track in Molten Ranch is called? The Camaris. And the builder is? California Communities, another curveball. All right, and what streets would we find those on? So we have Bridalwood and Meadowcrest, which is where the park is. Three homes on Laurelcrest. Woo! And wrapping around to White Oaks. And it's just under 100 homes that are in that track. Yep. All right. Uh, how many floor plans do we have in there? So we have four uh, floor plans here. So the first one is the Lily floor plan, just over 2,700 square feet, four bedrooms and three bathrooms. The second one is called the Lotus, and that's just over 2,900 square feet, also has four bedrooms, Three bathrooms. The third largest floor plan in the Camaris is the Iris floor plan, and that's just under 3,100 square feet. That features not only four bedrooms, three bathrooms, plus... A bonus room. Yep, great floor plan. Great vaulted ceilings in those floor plans as well. Yep. The homes feel very large, very grand when you walk in, a lot of light in them. Well, yeah, a lot. Of the builder used skylights and, and also second story windows, like in the vaulted ceilings, that it, just bring a lot, a lot of natural light in. Yes, they're very, they feel very large because of the light and the vault and, and, the, and all of that. It's, they're beautiful homes. And that takes us into the last floor plan in the Camaris called the Orchid. And that's um, over 3,300 square feet four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a big bonus room. Nice. So this was a lot of information today, and we're really glad that you buckled in and you stayed with us. Nobody knows Molten Ranch like we do. 20 floor plans, six tracks. It can be extremely confusing. We've worked it for a long time, and we can help you with this. If you ever want any of the floor plans or have any questions about Molten Ranch, please call the number on the screen and let us know. I can send you the, the floor plans. And also be sure to check out our other videos on Molta Ranch. More of the fun stuff of living here, what's going on in the community and the things that you can do and, and all of that. So definitely worth checking out. Like and subscribe, call or text. We'd love to help you. We know more than anybody in Molten Ranch and we're here for you. I'm Jim. And I'm Vicki. And, and we're, we're with the Bishop, Bishop team. team.